The Indian constitution prohibits legislators from holding an office that would allow them to benefit financially. The Amadi Party government maintains these parliamentary secretaries will not be eligible any remuneration or any perks of any kind from the government, meaning no burden on exchequer. The government does not face danger of being ousted as 67 seats of the 70-member assembly are occupied by Amadmi Party. However, Delhi will see one of the biggest bipoles ever with 21 seats falling vacant. Delhi ke 21 vidhayakon ka mamla aaj kal mahatapoon hai aur 21 vidhayakon ko parliamentary secretary to ministers appoint kiya gaya aur ye office of profit ki paridhi mein aata hai usko dekhte huye wo disqualify maane jate hai. उन्होंने प्रयास किया राष्ट्रपति तक बिल को पास करके भेजा जिसे राष्ट्रपति जी ने उसको स्वीकार कर दिया तो तत्काल ये 21 के 21 विधायक आयोग के घोषित हो गए हैं the bipole, if held, will provide a chance for BJP to improve its tally. Congress, on the other hand, will have an opportunity to open its account. In the past, courts have declared the appointment of MLAs as parliamentary secretaries by state government as illegal. In the case of Delhi, the cabinet has to be within 10% of the total number of MLAs in the state or seven ministers. But when the 21 parliamentary secretaries are included, this number goes up to 28, far exceeding the constitutional mandate. Now Narendra Modi ji is saying that I will not do all of them. I will remove them all. I will disqualify them all. I will disqualify them all. What is the problem of Narendra Modi ji? So I will disqualify them all. I want to say that in Gujarat there are five parliamentary secretary in Rajasthan there are parliamentary secretary in Nagaland there are 24 parliamentary secretary in Punjab there are 25 parliamentary secretary in Pondicherry there are parliamentary secretary in Haryana there are parliamentary secretary in West Bengal there are parliamentary secretary in West Bengal why do they not take them? and the other countries are parliamentary secretary they are taking 2-3 million rupees we are working in our free they are not taking any money and after that our people are behind us and they are behind us Narendra Modi ji Interestingly, experts in the argue that the Amami Party government followed what former CMs Sahib Singh Burma and Sheila Dixit did during their respective tenures. In 1996, Delhi CM Sahib Singh Burma from the BJP wanted to appoint Nand Kishore Garg as a parliamentary secretary and for this he sought permission from the then leader of opposition. Permission was given and Garg was appointed. In 1998, similarly, Congress CM Sheila Dixit, after assuming power, wanted to appoint Ajay Markan as Parliamentary Secretary. She repeated the same steps and got her Parliamentary Secretary. Ji, if anyone is afraid of the Hindustan, his name is Arvind Kejriwal. In the same time, they live outside of the country. And when they come to the country, they have one work for them. देश के अंदर किसान आत्महत्या कर रहा है उसकी चिंता नहीं देश के अंदर दाल के दाम 200 रुपए हो गए उसकी चिंता नहीं देर की अर्थव्यवस्था रसातल में जा रही उसकी चिंता नहीं देश के अंदर जो हालत है पंजाब के अंदर ड्रग से लोग मर रहे हैं उसकी चिंता नहीं एक्सपोर्ट डाउन हो रहा है उसकी चिंता नहीं लॉ एंड ऑर्डर की हालत खराब है उसकी चिंता नहीं According to constitutional experts, President's decision not to accord assent to the bill is final. Historically, the most widely quoted case in the media as a focal point has been Jaya Bachchan. On March 2006, actress turned politician Jaya Bachchan was disqualified as a member of Rajya Sabha with retrospective effect from 2004. The Supreme Court had dismissed Jaya Bachchan's petition challenging her disqualification as Rajya Sabha MP by the then President APJ Abdul Kalam on the recommendation of the EC for holding an office of profit. Even Sonia Gandhi too got embroiled in office of profit controversy. She immediately resigned and got re-elected as an MP from Rai Bareilly. बुलाया नहीं है पर तलवार जिस तरह से हमारे गर्दन पर बार बार रखी जाती है हर बार झूठे आरोप कि परिवार मंत्री गोपाल राय जी रहे तो बहुत बड़ा कोई जो है वो घोटाला हो चुका है गुमराह करने का काम कर रहे हैं पहली सरकार होगी जिसके मुख्यमंत्री ने अपने मंत्री को कहा है जब एफआईआर होगी तब होगी आप जाइए खुद अपनी सारी फाइलें लेकर खुद पेश हो जाइए और हम सब आए हैं करिए जो जांच करनी है दूध का दूध पानी का पानी करिए